Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So recently I went to Superdrug. Um, I actually only needed a foundation. I ended up buying this foundation um, that I used to use before and then I got home and realized it had become too dark for me just because winter you get lighter. Um, but yeah, but I just wanted to talk about a few stuff that I bought from Superdrug recently and what I think about these brands. So yeah, stay tuned. First one is the Fit Me Maybe Lake. This is the one that is not too dark for me. It has a matte finish. It kind of does, but it, it's more like a soft matte finish. Um, if you want it to be matte, you have to go over it with a powder, and I usually go over it with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. Um, but yeah, so at the moment, this is a really good foundation that I like. Now the thing about me is, I don't know if you have this when you buy makeup, but you end up buying multiple things that you don't really need. I wanted one foundation and I tried two foundation shades on two different brands and I loved both of them. So I took both of them. I know, so bad, but yeah, I did, I did, I took it. One, one is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours Wear and it's for combination skin, combination or oily skin. Now I have it on today. I started doing my makeup at like eight o'clock this morning and it is around 7.30 right now, 7.30 p.m. It actually works, it does work for 24 hours. Like I can keep it on the whole day and my face is as matte as possible. Now I have oily T-zone, so you know, after a couple of hours, maybe like seven hours, my nose might be slightly oily, but it's not that bad. Yeah, the other foundation I bought was Revolution Pro Foundation Drops. What I noticed about this foundation when I used it was the finish was very nice. Now, it wasn't geared to oily skin. However, I love the foundation so much that I bought it regardless because I thought, you know what, it's geared towards people with dry skin, but it gives, it has like this nice glowing finish after using it that I just couldn't stay away. So, and you know, what I did when I was at the store was I applied this one, I think I applied this one to the left side of my face and I applied this one to the right side of my face and then I was looking at it in different lights to see which one I preferred and I actually did prefer the, the glow of this one. But then in terms of being matte and if you're going somewhere all day, you're better off using this if you have oily skin. However, if you, you can still use this, but I would say do the powder before the foundation method and then do powder over it and then do the mattifying spray over it if you want to use this one. Um, yeah, I will still use this regardless because I love it so much and I'm going to have a, find a way to make it work and I just feel like it looks glowy. Now for my oily and combination girls, do you think foundations for dry skin tends to look nicer than the foundation made for the matte girls? And let me know if you like this foundation on me. Um, the one I'm using today is the Revlon one as I said. But yeah, let me know if you like the foundation on me. So I also bought two eyeshadow palettes now. If you've been following me or subscribing to me for a while now, you would know that I have Juvia's Place palettes. I think I have three Juvia's Place palettes at this stage, so I don't, I have no business buying eyeshadow. But I saw it and I couldn't resist. So let me show you what that looks like. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Oh, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Because the thing is, now, it, it's like totally matte like the whole thing is matte the whole thing is matte like every like all the shades let me show you closer I love like the bottom layer of colors you can wear to work um, the top layer is more like colors you can wear to like you know photo shoots and in summer you can use any of these colors um, even the middle one is like it's it's it has like a good mix of colors and if I remember correctly I think it was eight pounds or something. And I also got uh, this one. This one. Listen, can you see it? I also got this one. Now, the thing I love about this one is it's like just it's just full of shimmer, literally shimmer. Cause like for like nighttime looks. I was filming with this makeup look before and I just applied one of these colors over it and it changed it from completely matte green shadow to what I now have on. So I'm just gonna look down so you guys can see it very well. And that's it. So yeah, I feel like this is an essential for 
people that wear makeup all day to work and sometimes have engagements outside of work so you can literally just keep this in your bag it's really small and you can just apply quickly on your lid and just be out and ready to party thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up if you like this video let me know in the comment section if you have ever used any of these products do you feel the same way about any of these products anyways thank you again for watching please subscribe please find me on ig man find me on instagram and don't forget to check out my blog www.ishivarano.com for fashion inspiration just all sorts really and yeah thank you very much i'll see you later